So it's a beautiful day out. You decide to load the family in the car and head down to the marina to enjoy a nice day out on the water. But when you arrive, things are not as they should be. Just like some of the instances we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to the coast of Oregon, where a sailor this past week found himself in a little bit of trouble when he got caught off the coast of Astoria in 12 to 14 foot seas and his sailing vessel became disabled. Unfortunately, this captain at this point was unable to steer the vessel into the waves, causing this vessel to be broadsided in a monstrous surf multiple times, as can be seen in these images here. Fortunately, he had already reached out to the U.S. Coast Guard and they were en route to try and rescue the gentleman from the sailboat. After taking a pounding over and over again and determining that there really was no safe approach for the Coast Guard to approach his vessel to try and rescue him, our captain does the daring thing of jumping into the cold Pacific coast waters. The man does everything in his power to try and swim away from the damaged vessel. The U.S. Coast Guard said he was rescued by a boat crew stationed at Cape Disappointment and he was taken to emergency services for a valuation. As for the vessel, it continues to take a pounding but does wind up washed ashore at Fort Stevens State Park. This really is a wild scene to watch, and our captain here is very fortunate that the Coast Guard was close by at the time to pull him out of the water, as the water is typically cold off the coast of Oregon, and he probably would not have survived long. But the real wild part of this is you see these types of sea and weather conditions. One of the Coast Guard members was asked later whether they felt like the weather really contributed to this incident. And even though they said it probably did, that this is typical Oregon weather. They said it was a little more like a winter day than a normal spring day. But overall, these are the type of conditions they face on their coast all the time. While our captain featured in the first story took a wild ride, this wasn't the only wild ride to happen this past week. As our next story to make the boating news this week features another wild ride as a construction barge broke free this past weekend on the Potomac River. The event began this past Saturday when two construction barges carrying over a half million dollars worth of excavators and other heavy construction equipment broke free and began to flow down the Potomac River heading toward Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. Currently, the Potomac River is experiencing higher than normal water levels due to the extreme amount of rain that was received in the D.C. region this past weekend. One of the major concerns once it was realized these barges had broken free was the amount of bridges these barges were going to have to traverse before officials really could get in the water to begin to try and stop them. Now, while the barges did cause damage as they went downriver, somehow miraculously, these barges traversed every single bridge without causing any damage. Now, there were several images like this caught where they were taking out trees and other obstacles along its path, but the bridges somehow all made it. The barges did draw a crowd, though. Police and local officials did follow the barges as they went downriver, but those weren't the only people who showed up. Plenty of onlookers stopped by the edge of the river to catch a glimpse of the barges that went by. Fortunately, local officials caught a break in this situation as Mother Nature decided to go ahead and step in and lend a hand before we could get to a location where the officials could jump in to try and stop the barges. They actually became stuck on embankments, and local officials are working on a plan to get the barges back to shore. And no, we're not done yet. That's right, the wild rides continue to come. And our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to California, where two very fortunate teens caught a wild ride on a rip current after swimming near Salinas Beach in Moss Landing, California. The video shows the two girls right here being pulled into Monterey Bay. But somehow these girls got extremely fortunate as Bill Wallbacker and his crew were heading out salmon fishing into the bay on this day and managed to spot one of their heads bobbing in the water. You guys okay or are you in trouble? No. Okay, stand by, stand by, we're getting you. Take this, take this camera. Bill mentions later in an interview how lucky these girls were. Him and his crew were actually cruising at around 28 knots when somehow one of the crew members just happened to see a head bobbing in the water. They turned around and took a quick stop just to see if the girls were okay. They thought it was a little odd to see a group of people this far offshore. And Bill and his crew did arrive in just the nick of time. As you'll see as these girls are pulled on board, they're in rough shape. They're absolutely exhausted at this point after swimming in the water. Bill and them pull them on board. Fortunately for the girls, they make it safely on board with no injuries reported, and Bill and his crew are able to get the girls back to land safely. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Daryl Hockman, Scott Matheson, Steve Peterson, Candy Renee, and Bill Wallbacker did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.